Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here, bringing you another video on information technology. So this is a quick video on um, troubleshooting uh, Citrix receiver. So basically, if you have Windows Seven or Windows Eight, you would go to. And this is this is basically a video for anyone that's using Citrix receiver and just try to remote from home. Uh, it's common issues you would deal with. So if you go to your 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 uh, Citrix website. Website used to remote into your into your desktop. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do mine, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you what happens. Usually, you need to download the Citrix receiver if you're trying to remote into your um into your uh, desktop, and you need to download the, the latest version. So you would just go to Citrix receiver on Google.com and basically download the latest version, which is 4.12, and and um. Now there's Citrix Receiver Workspace, which is uh, being used by everyone. Um, you should be able to download this one on your computer. It's called Citrix Workspace App 1812 for Windows, which came out on December 14. And then if you have a Mac, obviously, you can download the one for Mac. Um, if you're on a Windows 10 machine, which is what I'm on right now, you go to the Microsoft Store, so you just type Store. And if you type Citrix receiver or Citrix, uh, let's do apps. They have Citrix workspace now. So basically, you could download this and install this on Windows 10. And if you have like a like a, if you have a, a session a session open or, or you need a troubleshoot Citrix receiver, you would you would basically um, you have it open. It's open on the right hand side. This will prompt or this will come up. It will ask you to put your email or server address, which you don't have to do. Um, depending on what environment you're in, you don't have to do this. You just have, you just really have to have it open. That's all you have to you all have to do basically. Um, the Citrix icon for me is in the bottom right hand side. I, you would right click on it. And then you have all these things you could do. You could check for updates. You could do advanced preferences. Um, you could do the, change the keyboard, receiver updates, configuration check. Um, if you have any saved passwords on Citrix receiver, you could delete them. You could reset your receiver. Basically, it resets at the default settings, which will fix any issues you have on the receiver. If, if um, for some reason it's not launching at all on your computer you could do that connection center is basically uh, when you're connected to the receiver um, you could make it do full screen you could disconnect from it you could log off preferences are uh, are basically if you want to use your mouse and keyboard um, they also have properties you could terminate any applications or kill any applications that run Citrix receiver for example if you have like as or if you have a uh, um, Adobe Acrobat or Word or Excel, you could kill those applications on Citrix receiver. Um, sometimes, if sometimes if if uh, if you launch an app and it doesn't launch for some reason, um, it's because it's because it's probably hung on the server. Um, basically, means that that the app it's it's stuck so it's stuck on the server. Or the app is not; it, it needs to be closed or force closed on the server side. Um, if the if you have uh, IT support or any type of IT, any type of tech support, um, you want to call them and ask them to kill your session or kill your 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 open application, which is like Excel or Word or whatever you have open. Tell them to kill it. Um, try to save all your work because if they kill it, you can't you lose all your work. Um, and basically, that's what it is. That's 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 things you. That's things. Those are the common things you would deal with if you, if you're trying to remote in. Make sure you, make sure make sure you're down. Make sure you um download the latest version of Citrix receiver. Um, if you're using Safari, on a MacBook, make sure you trust the site. So it's gonna prompt you to trust the site. Whatever website you're going into, it's gonna make you trust the site. Um. Uh, make sure you, you, you actually download the receiver uh, and make sure it works on Windows 10 um, you might have a, a, 
you might have issues with with uh, the the application make sure you make sure you uh, make sure you, you default IC ICA which is the Citrix receiver application so like the uh, the ICA file the IC file is part of Citrix make sure that's that's uh, that file or that extension is associated with with your uh, computer otherwise you cannot open the file so like if you if you go to the website and if you're trying to remote in it should open uh, it should try to open with with uh, Citrix receiver not with with your now if your web browser it should open with the Citrix receiver um, like this for example it says you just prompted to download run and open ICA instead of launching connection so like make sure make sure it's being launched properly otherwise you, you can't open the application um, you could associate the you could associate the ICA file on your computer and then you should be good after that on Windows 10 you you have to associate it otherwise it doesn't work um, so like see this one is another example Google Chrome now launching ICA file um, this is like this is like common issues you would deal with if, if you're trying to remote in from home so you go to the advanced settings uh, the plugin maybe is not allowed, and you select always open the file. This type of file. So like if you have an ICA file, always associate it with the file. Um, for me, I like to do it. I like to do it from from here on Windows 10. Should give that a second. There should be one called ICA or something like that. right here it's basically associates the file with an ICA file it will associate it that's basically and that's basically it so that's like that's like the common issues you'll have if, if you're if you're uh, trying to work from home and it just doesn't work uh, make sure make sure you're Make sure you, you have the latest version of Citrix Receiver. If it does if it launches and nothing happens, it's because it's probably hung somewhere on the server. Tell them to kill your session. Um, maybe you have issues logging in beforehand. Maybe you're, you need to update your password, or your, or your password has been expired, or or you changed your password recently. And you're having trouble lo logging in. You're probably locked out or something. Sometimes that happens as well. So those are issues you will deal with when you're when you when you when you're using. Uh, like remote remote desktop or you're trying to remote into your into your uh, VDI or into your virtual desktop you'll have those issues so in any case um, thanks for watching my video it's just a short video uh, rate comment subscribe greatly appreciate it um, get this real quick subscribe to my channel greatly appreciate it I hope everyone has a great day and I'm gonna make another video so take care you guys have a good one okay um, close out of this. Take care. Bye. Have a good one.